Hey everybody, this is Scott, uh, Katy, Texas, doing Southern style. Uh, we're going to do a demonstration on how to float a butt joint. Um, I'm going to do a skim as well. So this is a pan of plaster, which I've done demonstrations of how to mix. So it's got a quick set time and I'll be able to skim it fairly quickly. We'll cut the video and I'll show you all how to skim it as well. So 12 inch knife, this is how you can check if a butt joint is bad. So you've got your recessed seams on the long side of the board, which you can see that we filled in on the tape coat. And some of the butt joints, depending on where they break, will either, will rock is what we call it. So if it's rocking, you know you need to put more than just 12 inches of mud on it. So we're gonna do what I call a 22. So I'll overlap the tape just a little bit. So I've got this side of my knife on this side of the butt joint. I call it a 22. So when you skim it, you've got 24 inches of the knife to use. So I'm gonna go right inside that inside just a little bit. So I'm not over 24 inches of mud, hence the 22. And then we're gonna fill that in all the way. Make sure it's nice and full before you wipe center, which I'm about to show you. So I'll take my six and just feather it. So you're just putting that little bit of knife on there, leaving the four inches of the six not touching, and we'll just feather edge all the way around. Nice and tight. So once you get your feather edge done, I'm gonna take 12 and I'm gonna go right down the center. So I'm gonna put, so it's called a float coat, so you're not wiping and the knife's actually touching the ceiling, you're gonna be just floating over the ceiling. And just knock that 12 down the center. Got a little piece of trash there. So I'll put a little more mud. See if we can get that trash out of there. Just that 12 down the center. What that does is that what, what we call kills the seam. So you can't see the seam, it's nice and full down the center. And the same thing with the feather edge. I'm just gonna put that knife down two or three inches of it. The rest of the blade is gonna be, you know, above the mud. And we're just gonna lay that edge down. So you've got this big edge where we wipe with the 12. So same thing, we'll just lay that down nice and flat. So what you do is you're leaving your lap mark outside of center. If you leave it on center, what it's gonna do is make that hump bigger. So if you can see, I've got my lap mark just on the outside in between the edge and the middle. So you don't want that in the middle. So if you do, you can re-wipe your 12 and then lay that edge down, that lap mark. Just make sure it's off center. So we'll let this mud set up a little bit We'll come back and I'll show you how to skim it. All right, hey everybody, we're back doing a Southern style. So I wanted to mention something. This is plaster, it's already set up on us. It's, I don't know, seven, eight minutes. So we have these lap marks here. Uh, what I suggest is if you're doing regular mud, um, what you can do is either take your 12 when it's dry and scrape that a little bit and then skim it, or you can sand it. If you sand it though, the dust from your float coat is gonna be on the butt joint. And when, generally speaking, when you put mud over a dusty surface, it'll bubble. So I would suggest to take a real damp sponge and knock the dust off after you sand it. But being as it's plaster, we can rake, and you can check my other video on plaster, but because it's plaster, I'm able to mold this and lay that edge down just like that. So it avoids sanding. Once you lay that down and get it somewhat flat, and if you do sand, don't really sand heavy on the center. Uh, you can go light on it to knock it down a little bit, but you want that mud, you want as much mud on the center as what we're trying to hide. So sorry about that little technical difficulties, but what we're doing is hiding the butt joint. If you were to put a level on this, you're still gonna have a slight hump, but us building the mud across and then a light texture or whatnot, even in smooth finish, 
you're not going to see it. It's still going to, it's going to be, it's going to be the illusion that it's flat. If you put a level on any good finisher's butt joint, chances are it's not going to be level, but it's the illusion that we're making it happen so you can't see it. So we raked it out. So now I'm going to do a scan. I'm going to do a full 24 inches. I'm going to make sure my knife is on the outside edge and then I'm covering it all the way over. So both sides, I'll make sure that the edge of my mud is over the float coat, hence the skim. So when you skim something, you're filling it in and you're covering your float coat. So you want to try and cover the edges. So 30 screws in the mix right here. But same thing, I'll take my six, my feather edge all the way around. Like so. Nice and tight. And so on the skim, I'm not gonna put a 12. I'm gonna put a six down the center. And same thing, I'm floating. So when you're floating, when you're skimming, you're going across the surface. You don't wanna put a lot of pressure on it. So I'm gonna go straight across that middle with a six inch knife. I'm do one more time. And this is kind of tight. We're not leaving a lot of mud down that center, but just enough to add to it. Man, same thing. We'll put my pressure on the outside. And we're just going to lay that flow down. If you get a little rollover, just re-feather. So essentially, I'm leaving 12 inches of mud on this side. Right across that center. Uh, nice right across the center. Now I've got it full from here to here. And you can wipe several times over hot mud because you're not leaving a lot of mud. So we'll do the same thing on the other side. Pressure's going to be on the outside. You don't want to go too far. You can stop like I did there. And clean your knife. And get all that excess off. And I'm going to run one more time this way. Preferably with no trash. So as you can see, I've left all the mud here on this side, all the mud here on this side, and I got one little slight rollover in the center. So once this dries, just a light sand, paint it. Katy, Texas, sorry about the lighting, it's raining outside here in Houston, uh, but hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, hit me up on comments, like, and subscribe. Southern style.